Hey guys, this is Chris speaking. Today we're going to take a look on our latest version of our Firefox extension. In this extension, we have upgraded the interface, as you see, and also added a few new bots down here, our rain bot included, and a whole new bot we call the Train Chaser. All of this is well explained in this video, and we will try out making so ch some chapters so you can jump into whatever you need. But we'll start from the end off with the first button. Let's start with our Martin Gale bot. First of all, we need to fill out all of these fields to use our Martin Gale 10% on die. If I want my start bet to be 0 0.01, I have to write one up in my start bet, right here. After you have selected your start bet, you need to choose how long the bot needs to wait before it needs to bet CT. This means if you put this for 10, then need to go 10 rounds where it have not been CT before the bot will start to bet on CT. It's the same way about the chi and the dice. An example of this could be 3325. If the bot was active now, it would bet since I've been three turns now where it haven't seen a CT, so now the bot actually started to bet on CT. The CTT increaser is how much the bot should increase a bet with if it loses. When you're playing with the Martin Gale 10% on dice, you lose a little bit on the dice every turn, therefore you also need to have a higher increaser. I would recommend anything above 2.3. Since the dice have a way higher payout, but also lower chance to come, we can have an increaser on that one way lower. Even if our start bet is 1, the bug can still figure out this. So for my example, I will use 1.1 When I want to start the bot, all I have to do is click right here. After the bot started, it needs to become 3 turns, where it have not become a specific color. When you want to stop the bot again, all you have to do is click on the stop betting bot. And let's move over to the next bot. The Martin Gale 0% on dice work exactly like the Martin Gale 10% on dice, except it does not bet 10% of a CTT bet on the dice. Therefore, you can have an increase all the way down to two. Though I always recommend you have an increaser on 2.1. The Martin Gale 0% on dice bot work exactly as the Martin Gale 10% on dice bot, except it does not put 10% of a bet on the dice. Therefore, you can also have a lower CTT increaser than you have to have on this 10%. In my situation, I will use 2.1. Else the bot is exactly like the 10%. And you can actually just go ahead and click start. As we go over to our next bot, we also come to the new one. It's called Train Chaser. And except of betting against the train when they arrive, it will best the train will keep on going. Else, it works still like a Martin Gale, and if it loses a bet, it will increase the bet. And when it win, it will reset. The train chaser is built a little bit different up and does not bet on dice. A dice does break a train, but the bot will never bet on a dice. So, we still need to put in our start bet value. Instead of before, this is actually now bet after. So if I put two here, we need to see two train like now. And now it will bet at that it will come up a third CT. Let's say I will bet on four here. That means it will bet when the C T in a row, then it will bet that it will came up a fifth T also. This one is not used, so you can actually just ignore it. The CTT increaser is just like on the Martin Gale, so here you also need to put at least on 2. I would recommend 2.1. When you put in all these 4 information, you can actually start the train chase bot. And as you see now, my bot will bet that I come up a third CT because my CT was 2. When the train breaks and the bot loses a bet, the next bet will become twice 2.1 times as much now hope you enjoyed this bot try out some different settings and yeah the bot will be upgraded over time 
here at last we have our ring collector bot that one you already know and the good thing is now you can run it while you run one of the other bots all you have to do is like start one up like i already have actually click on there and now both of the bots are running if you want to stop the ring collector bot and the betting bot all you have to click is right here if you just want to stop the betting bot and use yeah one of the others you can actually just sit up for that like this now just an idea to yeah show how easy it is and the bot will start another tactic as you see with bit one now that you have seen the extension we'll show you how you can install this one after i will go through the most common misuses of the bot remember to view that because it can be very important thanks hey guys before going to the installation i just want to ask you to leave a like if you enjoyed this extension and remember to subscribe if you want all the updates and let's move on to the installation so when you want to install the bot first you have to go to my google drive in the commentary here's a link that will look like this all you have to do is go to that in here you'll find a zip folder called csgo empire auto beta download that one when it's downloaded you go to your extension either type about add-ons or do like i just did I just remove this one and show you how you install it. When you install from here, you're just gonna click on this gear up here and install from file. In here, you find the CSGO Empire Auto Beta 2.0.2 FX XPI, XPI, XPI file and click open. After you click open, this pop up will come. Here, you just click add and congrats. Now the extension is installed and if you go to CSGO Empire, you will see it. Ta-da! After you installed the bot and you want to use it, there's a few errors that can occur. The first is, if you don't go directly to CSGOEmpire.com and refresh from there, the bot will not be loaded. How to fix this is just go back to CSGOEmpire.com and refresh. And as you see, the bot is back. This error occur if you switch between tabs in here. After you have started the bot, it's very important that you just don't change tab. As you see up here, I got five tabs now. I am not allowed to use them. If I will do anything else, I can either drag them out, go back here, and now use this tab. Or I can simply use my Google Chrome instead. I think that is all for this FAQ. If you got any questions, you can ask them in the comments. Else join us on Discord and I'm sure me or some of our helpers will help you out. Thank you for watching and hope you enjoy the extension.